Hey guys, this is our Carolina Varsity. We're in our 2015 season. We're at round three of the 2A playoffs, and we've got number seven. This is kind of an odd one here. Um, we got number seven, Mountain Heritage, playing number six, Lincolnton. I'm Dale Ross. I'm Anthony Perkins. And I say odd because they're both uh, higher seeds or lower seeds, however you want to call it out, number seven and number six. We don't have a number one or a number two yet. Right. Well, uh, number six, Lincoln, comes in with an 11-2 record uh, out of the Southern District 7A. Mm -hmm. Southern District 7, 2A Conference. Mountain Heritage comes in with an 11-2 uh, record out of the Western Highlands 2A Conference. And, you know, uh, even though this is a number six and a number seven seed, uh, you, you look at the numbers that they brought, brought into the thing, you right. can't really say that, that these this is unusual because these two teams could have probably won in a lot of different conferences mm -hmm. and they played in. Lincoln had to be happened to be in the conference where East Lincoln was at. Exactly. And so uh, uh, pretty much the same for Mount Heritage, and, but I forgot who won their conference. But still, yeah, it's it's it, it's this is two good football teams. Mm -hmm. uh, Lincoln's coming in averaging about 276 yards rushing compared to Mount Heritage's 334. Mount Heritage is passing for only 70 yards per game. Lincoln's passing for a little over 100, about 115 yards per game. Uh, for a total of 389 for Lincoln, 405 for Mount Heritage. Pretty close mm -hmm. total total offensive output. Lincoln got here by beating Lexington 40 to nothing in the first round, and then uh, they beat Reevesville 36 to nothing in the second round. Right. Uh, Mountain Heritage beat Providence Grove 42 to 7 in the first round. Thomasville, which is a good program, mm -hmm. uh, 30 to 22 in the second round. Uh, Lincoln is averaging about 41 points per game compared to, to Mountain Heritage 36. They're, Lincoln's given up about 13. Mountain Heritage is given up about 21. So it's about a seven point swing on, on both sides of the ball. So that's, that, that gives you about 14 point advantage just in the numbers for right. Lincoln. But uh, this this is going to be another one of those interesting games, uh, Dale, where uh, again, I think defense is going to be the key. The just to first throw this out. The report says uh, forty to twenty, Lincolnton over Mountain Heritage, and of course, the first thing I look at, and Matt mentioned, and this is just you know, it, it's even in the name. This is a mountain tank. So when I look at that, what does that mean? We typically think mountain teams, you know, we think running and maybe not as athletic and doing those athletic things and. Uh, Mountain Heritage uh, ran the ball 599 times. They've ran the ball so far this season, uh, throwing only 121 times. So that's a huge uh, run heavy. That tells you they're they're run 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 heavy. And their QB, uh, their their quarterback, uh, he's he's thrown for 851 yards. His uh, rating. So one of the things I look at is to go a little bit deeper because at this point in the in the season other aspects of your game need to be there. And uh, their QB rating is 85.8, which is not really high. Uh, he's thrown 14 TDs, seven interceptions, uh, which kind of might worry you a little bit if you've got to get into a situation of throwing the ball. Now, Lincolnton is also, and, and just to mention that their quarterback Trey Robinson, number 15, uh, their top receivers, uh, he's a big boy, a six foot two, Cole Burleson. 170 uh, pounds, not real heavy, but a big tall boy. Uh, he's got nine TDs actually. So he's got most of the uh, TDs have been thrown in the air, but they're, run they're runners. And I thought uh, this was uh, pretty outstanding. Uh, very, very outstanding. This might be a player we need to, to watch. So Trey Robinson is the quarterback, but he's also their number one rusher. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has 2,003 yards on uh, 266 carries and 27 TDs. The thing that I really thought was outstanding, uh, so I kind of looked to see, okay, well, what kind of uh, build is he, et cetera? Uh, six foot, 198 pounds. That's a, that sounds like a good running back. And he's a sophomore. So uh, pretty impressive. There's another sophomore that carries the ball a lot. Uh, he can't be a twin because he's uh, shorter, but he's also a Robinson. Uh, he's 5'9", 170. He's a little bit smaller kid, but he's carried the ball 126 times for 688 yards. So uh, looks like they've got an interesting rushing attack to look at. But uh, if you look at Lincolnton, uh, Lincolnton is also a, a run-heavy team, about 4-1. to one. 
3,320 yards uh, rushing on the season, 466 plays. Uh, 136 plays passing for 1,354 yards. But their QB rating, Cordell Littlejohn, right. his QB rating is 113.1. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So if they need to throw the ball, you got a kid that has shown he can throw the ball. 20, t- 20 touchdowns, six interceptions with only six interceptions. That's not bad out of 130 uh, attempts. And he's 81 for uh, 130, so that's a pretty... Uh, that's a pretty high uh, percentage as well. Uh, we don't know at what point in the game he's got those, but their only loss on the season was to uh, uh, East Lincoln of uh, 40-21. Uh, oh, excuse me, in South Point, excuse me. Their only loss in conference. Right. And they played Maiden. They, they played in that uh, fairly tough conference. And they lost to South Point. Uh, 42 to 29. So both of those teams are still playing in the playoffs. They're both in the here in the third round. Very good teams. Uh, uh, the top receiver for Lincolnton is uh, Langdon Givens, number 82. He's had uh, 39 catches, so they're throwing the ball to him a, a fair amount out of that 84 uh, tosses, and he's had got nine TDs. Their top uh, running back, number 22, Taru uh, Dameron. Uh, 1,667 yards he's got on the season. And uh, Xavier McLean is the other uh, running back. He's got 674 yards. So to me, when I look at the two teams, I see a little more diverse, potentially diverse Lincolnton team. They do have more yards in the air, but they also look to have the ability to throw more. And as we've mentioned in other videos, I think that's an important thing. And uh, defense is very important. But I also think in having a diverse offense, if you've got to throw the ball, you can you do it? And I don't. Uh, it does, to me, it doesn't look like Mountain Heritage would be able to do that. Well, no. Uh, but now they've only lost two games too. Their losses were to uh, Irwin and Henderson. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hendersonville. Hendersonville. Right. And uh, according to uh, another. Hold that comes out. Mm-hmm. They, they, their strength of schedule was rated at 100 in the state. Right. Lincoln was rated at 220. Right. Which I find it a little hard to believe, considering they play had to play Maiden, Maiden and East Lincoln, East Lincoln right. and South, South Point. Point. Right. And uh, but anyway, I don't uh, buy that. Uh, that. Yeah, that's that's a little hard to believe right there. But uh, anyway, this she this could be a. I don't I don't see. I got a little tighter than the twenty points y'all okay. got. I got a ten. I got ten points. Well, that's not necessarily what I've got. got. That's what the computers got. Well, that's that's what I was referring to. Yeah, right. I would, but I would I would say about ten points. For but you, but you know you met one of those losses you mentioned Irwin, and uh, I'd have to go look at the game to see. But Irwin is is known as one of the mountain teams that throws the ball. All right, they are. So. Uh, they that, operate spread. They operate out spread. Out exactly. Spread. So that kind of tells me right there that. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. You throw the ball, you're probably going to be successful right. against uh, Mountain Heritage, and Lincolnton can throw the ball. So we'll see. Uh, a good game. Yeah, is it going to be a three score game? Is it going to be a closer ball game? Mountain Heritage, can you keep Lincoln from getting up in the 40s? That's, uh, that's going to be the question. Well, thanks, and let us know if you watch the video. Thank you.